One of the good things about wooding alone is you always know where things are. <laughs> They're always where you left them. Your cereal bowl is always <laughs> in the fridge. <laughs> and your milk is always <laughs> in the cupboard. <laughs> And because you're the only one eating the food, if you run out, you've only got yourself the blame. Right, oh, who's eating all that cocoa pops? Come on, it's me, isn't it? Yes. Yes, I did it. Yep. Living by yourself, you always know exactly where everything is. Now, you mightn't have noticed, but Vic took your table away to fix that wonky leg. What wonky leg? You know, the one that got buckled at the party. Somebody put something ridiculously heavy on it. Yes, it was you, Mrs Fuller. <laughs> I would not put anything heavy on that table. I think I'd know better than to do something stupid like that. You sat on it. <laughs> yes. So, what's your point? Well, my point is that you could do with losing a cup of tea, Mrs. Fuller, or... That would be nice. I'd prefer coffee. Oh, no! We've, we've run out of coffee. Oh, well, tea, then. Oh, no. Don't tell me the tea's gone as well. No. Good. The teapot has. What? Mrs. Mrs. Fuller, I've been noticing the last couple of days that... Things around the house have been disappearing and reappearing in other parts of the house. Like, you might call me stupid. Craig, but the, hmm? you're stupid. <laughs> it's true. I know, and I'm glad you agree with me. <laughs> no, look, I've, I've, lost, I've lost my pillow. I've, I've lost my tranny. You've lost your marbles. No, they're in a safe place, but it's only another time. Look, Connor, it is all in your imagination. Because you haven't got a job, you spend far too much time on your own. You're Miss... going loopy again. <laughs> Mrs. Fuller, I really think someone's been in the house. On you the see what I mean? Now, if I can't get a cup of tea here, I may as well have one with Vic. God, no, listen to me, Miss... No, you listen to me. I know what I'm talking about, Godfrey. It's all in the mind. <laughs> Maybe Mrs. Fuller does know what she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Someone's been in here! I knew it! I knew it! Come on, come then, Kill. It's probably just, just the wind. Oh, go over and close the window, which is obviously <laughs> already closed. <laughs> Nothing suspicious in there. Oh, my God. Someone's definitely been in here. Look at the mess and park. Just the smell. Oh, hang on, this is my room. <laughs> Linda's old room, just as she left it, scrunched up newspaper all over the floor, <laughs> empty beer cans, cigarette butts, a pizza box butt, a back seat from an old Holden butt. <laughs> ah, Linda. Wait a minute. That's a little unusual. Linda didn't even try the Holden. <laughs> my pillow! My teapot! My, my bottom! My can opener! I 
I've got a funny suspicion that somebody's been staying in Linda's room. <laughs> Colin, 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 of course someone has. Linda! No, I mean someone more recently. Ah, oh, no, oh, fair enough. Well, there's only one way to find out if somebody has been staying here. Hey. <laughs> How is that exactly? What do you reckon? By waiting to see if he comes back, of course. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> across the road. Yeah, well, you can't stay here. Why not? Because you weren't invited. You invited me. I invited you. Yeah, thanks a lot. That's very good. Okay. okay. Now, all right, if you wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind getting some sleep, okay? Okay, then. I'd appreciate it if you can wake me in the morning. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm warning you. It'll be really early. Breakfast an important meal for you then? <laughs> Look, I'm only eating it because you made it for me. I made it for me. <laughs> hey, well, let's get this straight. I don't take handouts, all right? No. Yeah. No, I, I got my pride. I don't take any charity. Oh, fair enough. Passes a sauce, will you? Get <laughs> it! No, just... What's that? A, a grill, mixed grill of... No! What was that that just ran out the door? Oh, him? Yes. I've got no idea. Apparently he's been staying here for a couple of weeks. What? That's where everything's been disappearing to, into Linda's old room with him. Are you trying to tell me that there's some no-hoper living under my roof without paying rent? Now, why are sick, Mrs. Fuller? I pay rent. <laughs> and I thought you liked me. Not you, Clyde. This Darrow. I want him out of the house by 12 o'clock. But he's got nowhere to go. All right, he can stay then. Good. Till 12.30. <laughs> He's somebody else's problem. But he should get himself a job, try and do something useful with his life. Hey. Otherwise, he could end up like... <laughs> Bye. Bye. Mm. Mm. Hey, I appreciate you letting me stay here, Cole. No, no worries about that, mate. Listen, a little bit of a word of advice. Sit down. You know, the snags are a little bit burnt. So can I suggest that a bit of a lower flame on the stove next time, OK? Will do, Carl. Good luck. So what's your name, anyway? Oh, look, I'd rather not say because it's... You know... well, Horace. <laughs> Cecil. Bugger! Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> so tell me, uh, Bugs, um, <laughs> have, you had, have you had many jobs? Have I had many jobs? I've had so many jobs, I've lost count. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Well, hey, we've got something in common. Yeah, but I was never happy with mine. They were never happy with me. <laughs> I had this one job once, Carl, I remember. I had to scrub inch thick grease and fat off pots and pans in some cockroach infested, crummy old yuppie bistro. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Worst job I ever had. Oh, it's the best job I've ever had. <laughs> hey, you know, 
know, you might find this uh, a bit hard to believe looking at me now, but I, I once studied to be an architect, you know. Really? Yeah. Didn't work out, though. Guess I just wasn't bright enough. I failed my exam <clears throat> three times in a row. Failed architect exams? How exciting! <laughs> what? Oh, best I ever did was file woodwork exams. <laughs> Yeah, well, after they kicked me out of uni, I took any jobs I could get. Cole was so demeaning. Yeah, I know what you demean. <laughs> yeah, I was so unhappy, eventually I dropped out. Well, if you don't mind me saying so, you don't seem all that happy now. So, Mrs. Fuller... Yes, uh, you were saying, Gavin? Uh, I've had a bit of a think, and I think you're right. Good. So you're going to stop scratching your bottom, then? <laughs> no, no, about getting a job. I am impressed. Right. And I think if you try a little harder, you'll get one. Mm. Well, that's not for me. Yes. No, I know what you mean, yeah. And if I try really hard, I'll get a really good one. Good boy, Craig. Uh, so, is, is Miss, Mr. Fuller still top dog down there at the poodle parlour? If you mean, does my husband still manage the place? Yes, he does. In fact, uh, he owns several canine grooming establishments. So you could say he had a whole chain of them. <laughs> I could say that, yes, but I wouldn't. <clears throat> so what's your point? Well, do you think Mr. Fuller might be able to swing an interview for him? <laughs> Me? What a good idea. Have you had any experience with dogs? Yes, I have. Well, that's a start. Yes, I've been bitten on the nose when I was 14. <laughs> I've had fleas on more than... What's that? <laughs> Who's that? Hey? Don't tell me that dirty Darrow's back again. Mrs. Fuller, he's gone. I'm going to check the bedroom. And so you're going to check the bedrooms, are you, Mrs. Fuller? Which one will you be checking first? I don't know. Probably yours. And stop yelling. So you're going to check mine, are you, Mrs. Fuller? With... Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There's nobody there. It's well, so I suppose an apology is in order? No. Fair enough. <laughs> I wouldn't mind a cuppa. Great idea, let's go and have one. I know just a place. Cameron! <laughs> get out of the way so I can get the tea. I don't know, but we don't keep it in there anymore. Well, where do you keep it then? In the letterbox. Let's just go Cameron! Ahead. <laughs> ah, there it is. <laughs> I've never seen anyone move so fast in all my life. Yeah, you must be halfway to West Pitwood by now. I'm sorry I had to throw him out. Heaven knows it's not in my nature to be rude to people like that. No. I did give you fair warning, though, Godfrey. Y yes, Mrs. Boy, you've been very fair mm. indeed. So I guess you'd want to be popping off for that cup of tea off home now, would you? Yes, I suppose so. <clears throat> I don't want him coming back here. Mrs. Fuller, I promise he will not come through this store again. Good. Bye-bye, Cameron. Bye-bye, Mrs. Fuller. <laughs> You'll have to use the back door from now on, Bugs. Yeah, right. <laughs> what? 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 I think I may have teed up a job for you. Oh, have you? Yeah. yeah. Oh. What sort of job? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure, but it'll be working for Mr. Fuller. <laughs> no, I'm not interested, Cole. No, you'll be a good boss. No, forget it. No, just give it a go, because if you could... If mm, you, look, look, what? Cole, didn't you hear me? I do not want the job. Huh? Well, you're obviously in two minds about it, so why don't you just <laughs> mull it over? Oh, and look, you can tell Mr. Fuller he can shove his job. That's a no, is it? Look, Cole, <laughs> will you mind your own business and stop interfering in my life? Cole.
Carl. Yeah? I was just wondering, you want to watch the TV? Yeah, sure, if you want. <clears throat> Should I turn it on? Well, I could turn it on if you want to, or if you wanted to turn it on, you could turn it on. Well, we can watch whatever you want to watch. Well, I'm not fussy. I'll watch whatever you want to watch. That is, if there's something specially that you want to watch. No, there's nothing special I want to watch. I just thought there might be one something you wanted to see. Well, well as I said, uh, no, but, but thanks a lot for asking. It's really nice of you. Fine. Well, might as well leave it off then. Huh? What do you reckon? Sure. Yeah, OK, I suppose. OK, fine. Look, Look I'm, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> well, it's, it's just, just that, that I... <laughs> I, I was only... Oh, shut up, Colin. Oh, I'm trying to apologise. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I should apologise. I, I shouldn't go poking my nose in other people's business. It was just so I thought if you had a job, it might take your mind off things. Well, what do you mean? It's just I don't understand why you're hanging around here when hanging around here seems to make you so unhappy. Yeah, you're right, Carl. I am? Come on, step in the dark there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's about time I did something positive with my life. Maybe this job would be a good start. Yeah, thanks a lot, Carl. I appreciate your help. Oh, well, you know where I am. <sighs> There's something I should do first. What, wash, perhaps? Have a bit of a shave? No, Mrs. Fuller. Shave Mrs. Fuller? Well, that's... <laughs> the frightening thing is, she might be in it. <laughs> No, Carl, I need to speak to her, but you're right. I probably should have a bit of a wash first. You, Gavin! In the fireplace. No, there you are, Gavin. Oh, no! Not you again. Right, this is the last straw. You are really testing my... Brakes? Testing your brakes? <laughs> I'm, um... Uh... Your mum seems to be taking it well. <laughs> Why didn't you just tell us you didn't pass your exams? Oh. Your dad and I wouldn't have cared. Oh, mum, you and dad had such high hopes. I, I just couldn't disappoint you. I mean, I knew the fact that I was a failure would break your heart. I'd never think of you as a failure. I'd never call anyone a failure. Actually, there was this Shut one... up, Gavin. Oh, okay. <laughs> what about all those letters from London? Well, I got some friends to help, you know. Uh, Mum, I, I really wanted you to think I, I was a successful architect with my own firm. I'm sorry, Mum. You know, I've really missed you. I've missed you too, Grant. It's hard when your little boy grows up and leaves home. <laughs> well, at least you still had me around, haven't you, Mrs. Fuller? Yes. I mean, even when I got really homesick, I, you know, I couldn't face you and Dad, so I shifted in here so I could be close to you. That's so sweet. Oh, I'm sorry. You probably got mine. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Mum. <laughs> Are you all right, Mum? <laughs> well, it's good to have your little boy back home again, isn't it, Mrs. Fuller? <laughs> Oh, Grant will like that. It'll look lovely in his room. Yeah, go for it, Mrs. Fuller. I, I got two. Have you? Where's the other one? Just here. I'll put it by. Oh, good. Six. I wouldn't want to split the pair. No. <laughs> it's lovely having him home again. Just like the old days. Although I have noticed he has a tendency to answer back. I wonder where he could have picked that up from. Could it possibly be that he's in the Shut up, Gavin. Okay. <laughs> um, Craig, mm -hmm. have you become attached to that chair? No, look. <laughs> Good. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, it's my favourite. Is it? Yeah. Bring it over to the house later, will you? It'll look lovely in Grant's room. Yeah. I hope he shampooed that living room carpet like I asked him to. He didn't do it yesterday. If I get over there now and it's not done, by Jove, he's going to cop it. What's she got? Ooh. <laughs> she is spewing 
heaps over you not shampooing the carpet. Um, ah. Shut up. You're gonna cop it. <laughs> Look, I came over here to say goodbye. Where are you going? Anywhere. But you only just got here. Yeah, I know, and I love Mum, and I did miss her and all that, but... Yeah. I can't stand it anymore. Anyway, I left the note, and this time I'll keep in touch. That's, that's really nice of you, but a word of advice. Try and keep in touch with your mum as well. She gets really stroppy if you know. Oh, we'll do, Carl. Yeah, good. <clears throat> well... Thanks a lot, Carl. Been really good. See you. See you, Bugs. <laughs> oh, come on, look. Don't look sad. I told you, I'll keep in touch. No, it's, it's just the... <sighs> oh, what, what is it? You can tell me. Well, I just got this funny feeling that I'm going to have to shampoo your mum's carpet. 